This completely nondescript box houses the GM Heritage Center, a uh, collection of cars owned by General Motors back from uh, the first Cadillac 1903 up to the latest concept vehicles. The guys inside can give you more detail, but uh, a lot of times, you know, people will retire and then pass away and the family just up here. Boxes and boxes of old GM documents they found in the basement and they don't want to get rid of them, so that instead they in turn donate them to the to the Heritage Center. So cool place, never ever allowed for the public to get in, media to get in, so this is uh, truly all access. We only have one rule. Yeah. Don't touch the cars. Now if you'd like to walk through the doors here, we'll look at uh, about 200 of uh, GM's thousand car display. The museum is uh, divided up by brand as well as sometimes special category. We have a very special grouping of cars through here, some of GM's greatest hits. Uh, this is sort of what we call the GM Tunnel of Love. And, uh, you know, it features uh, Hallmark designs and Hallmark uh, vehicles that GM has produced. Uh, the first car you're looking at here is the uh, Y job done in 1938, and it's considered by uh, the auto industry as the first concept vehicle. We have a 57 Cadillac Brougham. Only 400 of these were built. Uh, features memory seats, brushed stainless steel top, air ride suspension system, cast aluminum bumpers, 64 Buick, Electra 225, we've got uh, four or five 55 Chevrolets in the collection, 69 Corvair, this is one of the uh, last Corvairs built in 1969. Uh, we were able to purchase a, a very significant car collection and archive from a gentleman up in Houghton Lake, Michigan by the name of Pinky Randall. Probably one of the best examples of one of these cars that you're going to see. Original tires, everything. We went to great lengths to, to try and get uh, license plates that correspond with all the cars. So here we have a 65 Buick Grand Sport, 1970 Chevelle. This is considered by many to be the ultimate uh, muscle car. We have many of the Corvette concept vehicles uh, from the uh, race cars all the way up through uh, some of the concept. We have some of the early uh, Corvair powered Monza GT, Monza SS, Resto Rod. And this car was built to show people that you could take modern engine and uh, put them in your, your vintage vehicle. We have a pretty good Pontiac display. We have uh, the very first Pontiac ever built. We've got uh, you know a lot of concept cars and development vehicles also mixed in with the uh, with the stockers. Uh, 69 GTO Judge. Some of the cool features on the Mako Shark uh, are the uh, side exhaust system, power dome style hood. Notice the uh, shark-like gills in the side of the uh, front fascia. We have a 1915 GMC truck and it has the solid rubber tires and it's chain driven. This is the uh, Astro One and it's a, it's a Mitchell era designed uh, uh, Corvair powered car. The uh, port on the top is the rear view mirror. It's like a periscope mirror. You look through the bottom, it reflects backwards to see behind you. And again, we're not just about the past, we're about the future as well. So we have a Buick Enclave, S10 electric truck, so, yep, solar race car. The skin is made up primarily of uh, photovoltaic uh, cells. Uh, people don't realize that General Motors is very much involved in uh, alternative fuel vehicles uh, at a very early time. This is the hydrogen powered van. Uh, it was operational even has a smell to it of electrical power. And we're tickled to death that it didn't uh, get destroyed. We also have the impact. We have an Electro Bear, all electric powered Corvair. 